Ron, welcome to Carburetors and More. All right. This is it. She runs like a top. Here's your... He had broken screws off in this. And he had some uh, one in the bottom. You'll, you'll notice where we replaced with a new one. And of course, them had to be drilled and tapped, and it's quite a job. So that was adding a little bit to your bill. You said something about maybe we could modify this to uh, get a little more out of it. Well, I don't know if you know it or not, but it's only 400 CFM. That's all it flows. Little bit, which was common those days. Small, small CFM. If it was today, that carburetor would probably that car would probably have a 750 on it. But anyway, we did what we can to get it to run absolutely correct, proper mixture to meet all the standards and that we have to set them by. It's as much as you're going to get out of it. What we got. But here we go. Okay, this is checking back in there for whatever you need. And for our purposes, we just cap them off. Looks like this carburetor might have been used for marine use at one time, too. It's got that plugged off. Okay, ain't that a sweet running one? Let me turn the cooling fan on here a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, put her in gear and put a big load on it. Just like that big old tractor. See, it'll carry that, it'll pull that big old body tractor easy, real easy. We got a load on there about the twice of the weight of that tractor, or whatever, some Mopar. It's a beautiful blue car of some kind. No problem at all. That thing will pull a house down. Okay, we're going to get you a video and get you a bill, and I'd like to see it paid today and get it out of here today.